Hello, Leo, and happy birthday to you. This is the beginning of August, and I know a lot of you Leos out there are going to be celebrating your beautiful time of birth. Okay, and so to start off your monthly taroscope for this month, I just want to give one little update, and that is I do plan on uh, sending out a newsletter for August. There's going to be some really great information in there, um, as well as maybe some more um, information on the whole switcheroonie that happened uh, those previous week. I know everybody still might be a little... Um, conflicted with, you know, the changing of ownership and everything that's going on. So, if you want a little more in detail on that, be sure to subscribe to the Life, Love, and Tarot newsletter. You can do that on my website. Okay, so to begin your reading for the month of August, I just want to show you uh, the deck that I'm using. It's the Goddess Tarot. And uh, this has quite an Egyptian feel to it. So uh, the cards are, are, you know, they have their own names and their own type of pictures and details, but we're going to read it just like a traditional tarot deck. Okay, so are you ready to rumble? Sorry, I had to. All right, first card, my dear sweet Leos, you received the five of staves in the res reverse position. Staves is just another uh, definition of wands. So upside down is actually um, a good thing because this is showing that if you've had any um, types of struggles or if you've been working really hard, you've been putting in the overtime, you're getting tired, you're trying to piece something together maybe. Um, I definitely feel as though that this is a work card as far as like career paths or um, furthering education, schooling, stuff like that. Um, anybody preparing to go back to school in the fall. Um, but I also got a little bit of a message from my guide in, um, in the area of relationships. So if you've been feeling like your relationship's been crumbling a little bit around the foundation, this card is showing you that it's going to be coming back together very, very soon. So, <coughs> excuse me. So, what can you do? What does this card actually mean for you? What are the messages here? Well, I can tell you right off the bat, or the wand, per se, <laughs> that um, as these things come together, prepare yourself for them, okay? Um, you know, when someone has gone on a really long trip, or they've been battling something for so long, um, when they start to see the horizon of the sun at the top of that mountain, or they start to see, you know, um, their, their, their wits and their energy um, coming back to them, that too can feel a little overwhelming. So when you start to feel like things are actually coming into place, you know, just ask the universe and, and say, please, you know, bring me the guidance and the protection I need to embrace this this new and coming success and possibly completion of what I've been working so hard to put back together. This card kind of reminds me of like a puzzle piece. Um, if any of you are avid puzzlers out there as myself, <laughs> I love to get my puzzling on, especially in the winter. Um, you know that it can be daunting at times. It can be um, stressful. But as you start to see the picture come together, it, it shows that all that work and everything that you've put into it is, is just to create something absolutely beautiful and profound. <sighs> that was a big card right there. Okay, the second card 
not so friendly. <laughs> you received the Eight of Swords upright. Ah, oh, this woman right here, she's had a tough day. She's been having swords throw down, thrown down on her. All eight of them. My goodness, that's no fun. Okay, so this is about um, coming up to some unsavory news. Okay, or possibly even criticism. Um, the criticism could come out from an outside source as you embark on the ending of your journey to success. See what I'm saying here? So, someone may come along and say, yeah, well, you know, you think you might be at the end of, you know, the line here, but you still have this, this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this to do. Um, and that can be really frustrating, you know, that could be bad news in itself, you know, when somebody comes over and tries to rain on your parade, and, and, and to think that, you know, they're going to do that right as you feel like you've, you've had a break in the clouds, and there might be some sun shining down on you, and then this comes along. I can tell you that everything happens for a reason. Um, <laughs> and the reason behind this card is that, you know, when we come to a conclusion at the end of a difficult time or a time of struggle or, um, you know, trying to create something big, there can be another downfall. There can be another little bump in the road. And when times like this happen, it's really just the universe saying, Are you sure you really want it? <laughs> it's a test. Oh, that universe. It knows us so well. And it just is trying to make sure that we know ourselves so well. So this can actually be an optimistic card in a way, okay? Because in the end... It's just going to make you stronger. None of these swords has pierced this woman yet, okay? She can still get up and walk away, and you will too. All right. Speaking of getting up and walking away, <laughs> the next card is Movement, also known as the Chariot in a traditional deck. Um, this is in the upright position. Fantastic. And... In the upright decision, it's it, it can be very interesting. This card can show that you are entering a phase of your life that may open up doors to influencing outside factors. Okay, so to break that down, let's just look back a little bit for a second here. You know, you, you've, you've gone through the struggle, you've gone through the hardships, you've worked your way up the line, you've had a couple naysayers, maybe just one naysayer, <laughs> trust one is enough, and now you're really just at the breaking point. You're just, you're, you're almost there, okay? Before you get there, my dear Leo, there are going to be others around you, surrounding you, saying, wait, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Now, this isn't the universe coming in and, and, and checking you out and giving you a little test. This is actually people that are in your life. These could be coworkers, these could be family members, this could be your own partner, or even your best friend, okay? Um, you know, and, and to, to go back to the beginning of this reading, because I just want to make this clear of what you may be building yourself up to. This could be, um, you know, entering into a relationship with somebody. Maybe somebody from your past, actually, that wasn't so fruitful, but now you feel like, hey, you've gone through the work, maybe you've gone to counseling with this person, and, um, and, and you're ready to give it another shot. And then along comes your bestie saying, hey, but remember this and remember that? <sighs> this can be so frustrating at times. Um, or if, you know, you're getting ready to, um, change career paths and you know deep down in your heart 
that this is something you need to do. But, you know, your partner is like, oh, well, you know, what about the bills? And what if you take a pay cut? And yada, 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 yada. Shh. Just say, shh. <laughs> Be quiet, naysayers. Okay? Because I foresee that you here are definitely on the right path. Okay? Uh, the universe is telling me so. My guides are telling me so. And once again, this is just another test, okay? But this is going to really get the wheels rolling here, right into the finish line, because it's the movement card, all right? So the other part to this card can be fleeing from reality. <laughs> I love that, because what is reality, really? I mean, um, depending on your astrology signs, your sun, moon, and rising, for me, I have a lot of Aquarius traits. So my reality is, you know, a daydream sliding down a rainbow to land on a unicorn and, and you know, trotting off into the magical forest, you know, of, of love and, and light and happiness. That's my reality. <laughs> for you, my dear Leos, you have a much more solid foundation that you walk upon. Okay, you know yourself better than anyone else in your life. Okay, I've seen Leos come into play and they can turn like grass into gold. They're, they're like the, um, oh, what was that? I just read a book recently, um, uh, The Alchemist. They're like the alchemists of the Zodiac. They're kind of godly in a way, and I, I can totally appreciate that because I just love to see Legos at work and at play and, and how they function. And, you know, yes, they live in a, in a, in a way of, um, you know, what someone would consider a reality, um, but they also know that they can live in a fantasy type of way and that everything's going to be okay because... They're a Leo. <laughs> and like I just said, they can make it through anything. Um, they're, they're the fearless lions of the Zodiac, and I, I just, I love that about them. Okay, so fleeing from reality. The reality is all the naysayers. The reality is, you know, your deepest, darkest moments and, and coming out of something that you know, you've really put your sweat, tears, and blood into, um, like I said, whether that's a relationship, a project, you know, um, any, any, anything that you've been working on. Um, so yes, it is time to flee from that reality, all right? Maybe, maybe this is a call from the universe to show you that it is time to switch gears and go into the fantasy world a little bit. Dream on, my dear Leos, because your dreams come true. You have this wonderful connection with the universe, and um, you have that spark of the sun right inside of you. So that's always a beautiful reflection that you can live your life on. <sighs> wow, okay. The last card here, I've got the Two of Staves, and it's upright. Once again, this is the wands, a wands card. This beautiful little lady here is an outside source. She is a very mature person. Um, she knows her way around the land. She can be a ruler or, you know, someone who has great significance in your world. Major feminine energy card here, Leo. Okay, so uh, your mama. <laughs> I say mama. I have a toddler. <laughs> Sorry if that came out like baby talk. But your mama, um, your sister, a cousin, a friend, uh, your own daughter, um, a grandmother, any type of female in your life that holds a true and to your heart connection 
Okay, so somebody that will give you advice and you listen to it, all right? This is also the person that's going to help guide you into your future of wonderful things. Because after all your hard work, that's where you're headed, okay? There's no way but forward at this point. And this wonderful woman right here is going to show you that you are on the right path. You are doing great things, okay? And you will succeed and see your accomplishments, all right? So if you have not spoken to someone that is a representation of this woman in your life, uh, I do advise you to contact them, especially as the month of August progresses. If you begin to doubt yourself because of the naysayers in these two cards, or if the work is getting a little too overwhelming, or you feel stressed out, or you just want to vent, <coughs> excuse me, or, you know, you just need some love, guidance, support from a sweet soul who has done it all or is about to do it all. <laughs> you know, someone who has a really, really strong personality. Okay? Um, an old soul, too, came through for this card. So, you know who I'm talking about, Leo. All right. Good, wonderful things. Now, I did pull some oracle cards for you. Uh, the first one I have here is coming from Magical Spell Cards. These cards are so different from all my other decks. Um, they actually, in the book, come with, like, spells. <laughs> So, and they're so cute. It's like, oh, for relaxation, light a little lavender candle before you go to sleep at night and breathe in the deep scents and make sure you blow the candle out before you go to bed and you will be relaxed. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay. I also love the backs of these cards, the backing. Really, really pretty. One of the prettiest decks I own, for sure, hands down. All right, you received Leo's spell card number three, Prosperity. Hmm. Imagine that. Well, that just, that will work in right here, right right next to that, that sweet little lady that's going to help you get there. <laughs> we'll just put that right at the end. We're going to slide that right into the, uh, to the whole tarot layout. So, Prosperity, Money, Cha-Ching. And if what you have been working on isn't in regards to monetary status, then this can also be kind of an abundance card, you know, um, prosperity and love, relationships, friendships, um, you know, something else just came through about this reading. If you've been struggling with a friend, um, rest assured that, you know, any work you put in forward toward that building that bridge back up is going to be something that comes out on top. All right, good stuff. I love that. All right, and I've got two other cards here. Um, they came out of Doreen Virtue's Fairy Tarot cards. Mm -hmm. All right, these have the meanings right on the cards. So the first one you've received is the Five of Summer. Give you a picture here. This uh, lady, I just got to get in really close. She reminds me of Taylor Swift so bad. <laughs> Poor Taylor, she's going through so much hating right now. But this card reminds me of her, just the face, I guess. Very, very pretty little fairy. All right. Trust that there is a reason for everything that happens. Aha! I said that at the beginning of this reading. Um, remove yourself from the negative emotions of others. That's right. So long, naysayers. And focusing on that which frightens or worries you. Okay, so I want to definitely point out the last part of this. The, the um, focusing on what frightens or worries you. As you can see, this fairy definitely looks like she's a little timid. 
She's, uh, you know, watching her back. She's looking around. She's, she's going forward with caution. Um, this makes a lot of sense to me because when we have people in our lives that possess a type of dark energy that they want to bring into our zone and our vibe circle, um, it can cause anxiety. It can cause lack of trust, even for our own selves. Um, so this is just kind of a little message saying, don't listen to it. It's all in your mind. You're wonderful. You're great. And things are going to be a-okay. All right? So, no focusing. Don't focus on anything that frightens you or worries you. Because you know what? That's a wasted emotion. All right. Next up, last but not least, you've received all the lovers. Oh, yes. What a fantastic card for you. We have true love that is long-lasting, choices made from the heart, and a return to good health. There's another uh, area in your life that you may have been struggling with. You know, if you're seeking alternative routes to, to um, you know, head back to healing, head back to, you know, your purest physical self, then this card is showing you, too, that this could bring you there. Okay? So really, any aspect of your life is covered in just one reading today. <laughs> I hope you, uh, you, you know, enjoy all these messages that are going to come through for you, Leo, in the next month because it's your month. I mean, this is really your time to shine. Um, it's the hottest month of the year, so, um, you know, things can get a little steamy at times. It's nice that you have a lover's card. I see relationships jiving and going in a very wonderful direction. So not a lot of concern there. Um, but yeah, just think back. Just look through this and know that your hard work is going to pay off. <sighs> I hope you loved this reading. It was fun reading for you. For me, for sure. Um, my polarity sign is a Leo. <laughs> I'm like a contradiction within myself. <laughs> um, my my little weak uh, Aquarius sometimes comes out and says, I don't want to do that. No, no, don't make me. And then the Leo's like, do it. You can do it. <laughs> so, all right. I'm going to end with that. Thank you so much for watching, and if you would like a reading from me in the future, a personal reading, um, head on over to Life, Love, and Tarot um, for the month of August. I'm reopening the shop. We're going to be open for business. Also, um, check out the Facebook fan page, because I'm going to be doing a lot of updates over there, too. There's going to be daily posts, um, maybe some contests. All right. So... Thank you once again for watching, and have a glorious August and birthday if you are going to be celebrating your birthday in the next few weeks. All right. Be blessed, Leo. Bye-bye.